Greetings, I'm Nancy Salas. And I'm Rachel Speaker. And this is UTA Spotlight. Today, we discuss how UTA and its international students create a great mutual relationship. A local sorority holds a pageant for a scholarship. And RVSP hosts March Movie Night just before Sexual Assault Awareness Month. So grab your bag and follow us around campus. Attending college benefits the student educationally and the university financially, but international students bring more than that to UTA. Mara Cordova has the story. The U.S. is a leading country for international students, hosting nearly one million. Students have many options of where to study, and considering that some countries even offer a higher education at no cost, what attracts international students to study here in the U.S.? The American education system is practical knowledge, and practical experience. So uh, U.S. universities in general, and UT Arlington included, have a lot more laboratory and research space uh, than you can find in some other countries' institutions. I looked at all the facilities and stuff, like the ERB, where they do a lot of research. And especially considering my field, computer science, they do a lot of research here. And that's what interested me. According to the Association of International Educators, in the 2014-2015 academic year, International students generated $1.7 billion to the Texas economy. Though they bring a financial benefit to the state and institutions, these students also influence their fellow classmates with different cultures and ideas. Bringing international students to the university has an impact on their other fellow students um, because what they bring to the classroom is a completely different perspective, a new viewpoint or solving problems, or looking at world issues, um, a completely different set of experiences um, that our students can learn from. UTA is proud of its diversity with students from all over the country, as well as a growing population of international students from over a hundred countries. Myra Cordova, UTA News. If you want to represent the United States, be sure to visit studyabroad.uta.edu. Lambda Theta Alpha held a male pageant to raise money for a scholarship for a senior high school student. Flor Valdez has the story. The sorority Lambda Theta Alpha organized for the third year the Mr. Burgundy and Gray Scholarship Pageant. Students from different fraternities participating, showing us their best qualities for a good cause. In the past, all the funds from the event have gone to our national philanthropy, which is St. Jude. But luckily, in the fall, we were able to raise a lot of money for them. So we decided that the proceeds this time will go to a scholarship for a high school senior girl who wants to attend UTA. Eric Escutia told us his reasons to be part of it. I'm a contestant representing the fraternity Alpha Tau Omega with the hopes of becoming the next Mr. Burgundy and Gray. If I win tonight, I feel like I will be able to take on a greater uh, role in my community and on campus as well. The attendants were able to see a variety of talents from self-defense tips, dancing, laughing rhythms, playing instruments, and singing. After a while, the judges named Elio Mendes, Mr. Burgundy and Gray, 2016. The winner told us his motivations to participate. Uh, another young high school student, that's, you know, that's, to me, that's a good struggle. And I, being a Latino, a young Latino that's first generation, I know what the struggles are. So that's what helped uh, inspire me. He also shared with us why he convinced the judges. But the talent part, that's my talent. That's why I decided to, to participate. Because I knew uh, that I, somebody needs to see that I have talents as well. Flor Valdez. UTA News. I mean, they're all good and they're all bad. <laughs> Lambda Theta Alpha raised over $500 for their scholarship. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month, and RVSP took a head start by hosting March Movie Night. Samantha Siebold has a story. About saying, okay, you get to choose, you get to decide, and when whatever that is, I support you. Sexual Assault Awareness Month begins in April. RVSP began early by hosting March Movie Night. 
Okay, so RVSP actually stands for the Relationship Violence and Sexual Assault Prevention Program. So you see us around campus as RVSP because it's a lot easier. Um, but what the department actually does, it provides support, advocacy, and education to the campus. RVSP showed an informative movie about sexual assault and held a discussion after about stereotypes, statistics, and prevention. I learned that it's really important to be educated not only for yourself about what sexual assault and violence is, but that way you can also use information to help others and help educate and aware, make others aware of how to be useful and help others in situations and notice when something wrong is going on and actually do something about it. Actually, yeah, we're talking about how most people don't really think of rape as anything less than a violent attack by a stranger. 92% of rapes and sexual assaults are by people that you know. Samantha Siebold, UTA News. For more information, visit uta.edu forward slash RVSP. That's all we have for you for this week's edition of UTA Spotlight. On behalf of our producer, James Belknap, our videographer, David Dunn, I'm Nancy Salas. And I'm Rachelle Speaker. We'll catch you next week on campus.